Thank you, Susan. And yes, thank you for keeping everybody on time and the presenters for adhering to the timetable that we've got. So it was an excellent uh, day one. I'm going to tee up this wild and wool film here in a moment. Uh, just want to talk a little bit about it and give some backstory. We set this up um, as an opportunity for people to go view this film and then come back so that we can have some Q&A and some interactive discussion. I think Rob and Jenna, as the wizards behind the curtain, might be able to help open up things so that people can ask questions uh, maybe differently than in the Q&A. So um, we heard a lot today about MOB. It's obviously a complex issue. A lot of data-driven uh, presentations today. But you also heard many of the speakers talk about the education and the communication that's important. And so what we looked at is how do we um, get this message out to a wider public and maybe not so data-driven and more um, storytelling. And so we worked with Sitka Gear based in Bozeman. Um, they're our official partner. And um, we put together this film, it's called Wild and Wool. It's a 23 minute runtime. Um, the way we set this was, it was gonna go through eight to 10 to maybe 12 film festivals and then COVID hit. And so the premiere last April was at the International Wildlife Film Festival in Missoula. And of course, if anybody's been to a film festival or read about them, you know, people go and they, they hit different theaters, different venues and watch different um, films of varying lengths. In this case, um, it had to go virtual. And so it was frustrating, but that's just the reality that we're all dealing with. And so there are still some film festivals underway where this film is making the rounds. And we worked with um, Phil Baraboo and Implement Productions and then Foss Media, Adam Foss, on this. Uh, we had worked with these guys on the Horse Rich Dirt Poor Wild Horse and Burrow film that Mike Cox and, and many people helped uh, put together mm, two years ago. But uh, what we wanted to do was tell the story. And, and we thought, you know, we could really just tell our side of the story, but we thought, no, let's try to tell a more balanced story. And so as Wild Sheep Foundation conservation staff, Clay Brewer in Texas and Kurt Alt in Montana and, and me uh, and the rest of our staff, we worked with Phil and his team to do some editing. We ran it past some focus groups, we tweaked it, but uh, we think it does a good job telling both sides of the story. And we hope you, that you'll agree. Several of the speakers that we've heard from today are in the film. Um, uh, I will say, watch closely when Tom Besser comes on screen because you'd swear it's Brad Pitt as a body double. But uh, uh, anyway, so what we would uh, ask people to do is take a read or take a watch of this film and then come back. And so in the interest of time and what we have set, I'm showing um, five minutes of till the hour with a 23 minute runtime. I would ask people to come back at 20, 20 minutes after the hour and we'll reconvene this session. Um, we, we then thought about, okay, how do we do this? And, and Rob, I think you've got the, yeah, so people can click on that link and watch this film. Um, it's done really well at the International Wildlife Film Festival in Missoula, which is kind of a um, dull weather in the film festival world. Our film got twice as many views, two to three times as many views as any other film. And so it's been well received. And you know we sent that as a courtesy to the American Sheep Industry Association before it premiered, just so that they could have it. We've not heard any negative feedback from any of the wool grower individual producers or permittees or age, you know, industry organizations. So we think we struck a balance here. Um, there were several points that, that I personally struggled with, but 
we said to tell a you know, fair and balanced, if that's a buzzword, tell both sides of the story. So um, at, at that point, I would ask uh, people to come back at 420, but have a look and then let's have a candid conversation about this plus some of the other topics from today. Um, we're hoping that we can put this on our website and keep it there, but the rules that we agreed to with the film festivals, it's only up for a week. It got posted on the 28th. It'll be taken down by the 5th. So I, I'd encourage folks to watch it and come back at 20 minutes after the hour. So um, if there are nothing, no other questions pending, we'll see you in about 25 minutes. Thank you.